Well, you can't tell a woman's age by looking at her. Oh, wow. And you can't tell what a woman will do by looking, so you have to be very careful. Hello and welcome. I am your host, Cinder Shadow, and today we're going to talk about how they scaled back on Faye Valentine's outfits for the new Cowboy Bebop series. Quite interesting to see that they actually scaled it down because they were scared of what it may, you know, what may happen after the fact. Today we have Cowboy Bebop costuming designer felt resistant to make Faye Valentine overly sexualized in her anime version. So there was a lot of talk early on with this, how Daniel Pinetta didn't look like she was going to play the role of Faye Valentine. Since then, there was some other artwork that did come out, some screen grabs that came out where it looked like she was in a more revealing of an outfit. So we're not quite sure how Faye Valentine is going to be. And then there was also the pushback from Daniela saying, oh, not everyone is this skinny with uh, large, large breasts and everything like that, saying that you can you can fill this role, even though right after that, it came out revealed that she played a very sexualized character in a earlier transition of her acting. That word salad is now said and done. Cowboy Bebop costume de designer Jane Holland defended Faye Valentine's costume for the Netflix series. This is from, where was this, Epic Stream? got an archive version of it here. Netflix is getting ready to launch the live action Cowboy Bebop next week, but some fans of the original anime series are still concerned about some of the changes in the show that made for from the source material. There's been a lot of models and everyone that's come out, cosplayers that have come out with the exact outfit for Ve Valentine, and there was a lot of pushback saying, why can't you do this? This was easily something that could be replicated. There's a lot of people that would line up for a chance to do this. The pushback that Daniela was giving was that, no, I'm not doing this because that's not who I am, even though in a series before that, she did dress very similar to it. But that aside, it's not really the bigger point. It's the fact that she came out and said, we're not going to do this because I'm not, my body's not built that way when it doesn't matter. Like people just want to see the anime represented the same way. So that is part of it. And now we're getting ideas of why it didn't go that way. And it's because the original designer didn't want to push that going. The sort of threads that I was pulling on uh, to kind of draw together came from the same place, the same process that I had to go through for Spike and Jet, Holland explained. She added, I feel like it's a re re respectful rendition of the anime, and I do have to say, as a woman, felt resistant to the idea of a female lead character being graciously and overly sexualized. Not about it being revealing, it's not about any of that, it's actually got all of those elements elements but to designed by a woman and it was made by a lot of women and it's worn by a woman the same elements are there but they have just manifested in a different way <clears throat> the designer saying she didn't want to overly sexualize it and actually draw a cross from the anime now there's a lot of things here that made this show great and one of them was how Faye actually uses that to her advantage, to catch criminals, to catch the bounties, to catch the people in the series. And she's able to walk up to them unaccosted because she's showing off herself and able to just walk up to people and pretty much get the jump on them because they didn't expect her to be this badass bounty hunter that's going to drive them home and be able to kick their ass in a heartbeat. That That's the whole reasoning for this. It, it, I, I get it, you don't wanna really put it on the big screen there, but at the same time we already have of Daniela where she already did dress up similar to this in the past and I think she could desperately pull it off if she came back with the proper attitude 
for the character and for her her acting career. She really was condescending to her fans very early on when this was announced and trailers were coming out for the story. So it's very disappointing to hear that she didn't want to push the boundaries and actually go forward head on. If you're not going to do the full thing and take something like this and go head on into it and tell people, listen, shut up, we're doing this the way that we should be doing this, then you're not taking the risk for the reward that would have paid off here. I don't know. I don't know. I think you would have gotten a lot more reward out of the series if they really did want to stick to the original show. They, they, they keep saying that this is like a cover band for the original show, so it's very difficult to say that going forward when they restrict what they're seeing in the show. Hey, what are your thoughts on this down below? Let me know. I'm just here reporting on it. Thank you for watching. This is your Proud Canadian Phoenix signing off. Have yourselves a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>